How do I test my genuine reproduction NES controllers? Just like this. And this is my setup I use to test NES controllers. Uh, got a parted out game port, a couple of scope probes, uh, two outputs from my parallel port, and if you look, you can see where Python programs bit banging the controller right now, sending out one latch pulse and seven clock pulses. The latch latches the data and pushing one bit out while the seven clock pulses will push the other seven bits out, letting the NES know what the condition of the controller is. Alright, I have here a very short Python program and it's sending out the waveforms to the controller. I've got them captured here on my scope and I'm just bit banging the controller and all that's here is a loop within a loop. Uh, the while loop is intentionally a infinite loop just to keep this going for as long as I need it and it also produces the latch pulse and latch pulse is about uh, the period is about 700 milliseconds and the inner loop will produce the seven clock pulses and the period for those are about 400 milliseconds it's not uh, these these values these these uh, periods aren't critical because all we're doing is testing the controller. That's it. So uh, we got we can lengthen this quite a bit or shorten it. I just chose these times because it makes it convenient to show it on the scope. So all right, we'll start right here and start with the A button, and it should be right on the leading edge of the latch pulse, and there it is. All right, we'll see it one more time. There it is. All right, and move to the B button. And this should show up on the leading edge of the second pulse. There. And there, all right. Next in line would be the select button. That should be the third pulse. Yeah, third pulse. And see, next one after that is the start button. It'll be on the leading edge of the fourth, fourth pulse. All right. Now we're going into the, uh, the pad here. We go up. Should be the fifth pulse. There it is. And I get a double pulse every once in a while because on this pad it will make contact with uh, either, you know the left and right button also. Let's see if I can't get it just to see the up. And there it is on the fifth leading edge of the fifth pulse up. Next one will be down. Leading edge of the sixth pulse. There it is. And if you count right after the latch pulse, leading edge of six pulse, put it down. Now right and left, or left, left would be next, should be leading edge of the seventh pulse. And there it is. And right should be the eighth pulse. Okay, there it is. And these double and these pulses that show uh, contact between up, left, or right don't seem to affect gameplay any. At least I don't notice it. But this could also be a reason why I die 
at the worst possible time in the game or the most critical part of the game and that would be very irritating but now that I can prove out what it is I'm okay with it okay, that's how I check the NES controllers I could have just as easily have plugged it into a working NES and see that it worked but it wouldn't have been as much fun so hope this has been helpful uh, leave a comment like dislike let me know what you think bye